guest was the very first comedian I ever had in my comedy corner. He has a new book called What You Have Now, What Your Daddy Had Then. Please welcome back to the show, the love master, Craig Shoemaker. <laughs> Forgive me for not getting up. That's, that's okay. <laughs> you must be used to women sitting around. I heard you were raised by women. I was raised, my dad left when I was born, so I was raised with all females. My mom played both roles, you know, she'd come home from work, wait till your father gets home. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> she threw her voice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was, it was all females in the house, so my first shave was with an epilady. <laughs> Takes the hair out by the root. <laughs> that first, has got to hurt. First shave was at 13, next one at 30. <laughs> All right. No, it was, but my mom used to, you know, you know, sex talk is a lot different when mom raises you. My friends would hear from their fathers about the bees and the pollinating and the flowers. What I heard from my mom was, all bees are scum. <laughs> That's a true story. But she used to say to me, you're going to have to be our little man of the house. The man of the house, I'm six years old. I'm built like Barney Fife from Mayberry, you know. <laughs> Trying to order my sisters around. All right, who made a mess in the kitchen? <laughs> Back up, these are certified lethal weapons. Don't make me use them. <laughs> that was my life. <laughs> and now your life, you're married? Yeah, married. And, How uh, long are you married? Uh, we're married. <laughs> you have a stumper question there. <laughs> like I got hit with a stun gun. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm married uh, going on five years, and, and we have a four and a half year old. We're hoping he's not a math major. <laughs> but, uh, Do you miss it me? Is, it is so different. I mean, I was just with my single friends in Philadelphia, not a romantic city. They have an ice cream store called Lick This. Give me an idea. <laughs> I mean, and uh, so I'm hanging out with my single friends at this outdoor cafe. Yeah. They're checking out every babe. They're going, look at the rack on her. I'm going, look at that stroller she's pushing. <laughs> wow, that, that's a great go 2000. <laughs> that's my life now. But, you know, and, and I love my wife. But it's hard to get used to, though. I mean, being in love for me is like 90% of the time I'm thinking, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. But about 10% of the time I'm thinking, how could I fake my debt? <laughs> That's the truth of it. You know, percentages may vary for all of you, but uh, <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's, it's ambivalent. It's, it's an ambivalent. It's hard to get yes. used to living in this. It is a woman's world, really. It's become a, it used to be a man's world, and now, ladies, all right, don't rub it in. Now you all took over. You were oppressed for millions of years, and now you want everything. Now you want your cake, eat it too, lick the spoon, and sleep with the cook. I mean, you want everything. I, mean, That's I, right. I, I, I bought a house. I have no say. My wife wants this feng shui, feng shui. You yeah. know what that is? That's yeah. an ancient Chinese word, which means put your husband's crap in the garage. <laughs> it works for me. That's a true story. <laughs> Oh, it's a nightmare there. Now she has decorative towels. God forbid if I ever use one. <laughs> That's the penalty box for three weeks. You know what? You know what I do when she's not around? I lock that bathroom door. Here's your decorative towel. That's right. Oh, yeah, baby. I pay for it. I'm going to use it. I like the way the show has turned into the man show all of a sudden. But what we need a little say. By the way, then I fold it and put it back. So uh, oh, just, just consider that in, in case you ever, ever invite over the shoemaker home. Now, what about the kid? Let's hear about the child. He's four and a half. He's four. And I'm telling you, things are so different. Raising a kid in this generation is so different. We put a baby Mozart was in his crib. He listens to Mozart to put him to sleep. Yeah. When I was a kid in my crib, I was listening to my great aunt, Shane, smoking Marlboro Red, singing me a lullaby. <laughs> and when the bow breaks. <laughs> the cradle will fall, and down will come Craigie. <laughs> Are you asleep yet? Let's give him some of my highball. <laughs> And that's what I grew up with, but I, I, I wrote a book about the differences. Uh, for my child, I, it's like I told him, I said, well, see, son, you have organic fruit juice smoothies. Daddy had tang. Whoops. <laughs> See, they didn't even have astronauts. I asked the kid in the audience, and I go, do you have an astronaut? He goes, yeah, I know one, Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> and I, I told my son, I say, you have your own seat in your mom's SUV. <laughs> Daddy was thrown in the back of a crowded station wagon. <laughs> right? Most of us didn't even have seatbelts. Our, our seatbelt was mom's arm. Look out! <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> it's so different now. You know, and the thing about kids today, a lot of kids have it so easy, and yet they still need medication. Yeah, they That's need... Why? Well, there is a difference, too. It's <laughs> yeah. like, you know, th th then it was like, now it's like, oh, that boy has ADD. You better give him riddle. And back yeah. then, whack him in the head. He's hyper. <laughs> right, exactly. 
you know, you know that's a, we, we were hyperactive. <laughs> you know, it was a whole different thing. You know, now you put them in a timeout. You know, yeah. we used to get a beating. <laughs> My mom would say, "Go me, get me something to beat you with." <laughs> like I'm gonna come back with a two by four with a nail in it. You know, <laughs> I wasn't. I brought her a sponge. <laughs> Here you go, Mom. You know, Will, uh, yeah. You're killing me. Craig, thanks so much for coming in. You won my first guest, no, and it's so nice to have you again. Thank you. Craig Shoemaker. And if you're in Pittsburgh, we'll be at the Improv next week. Okay, we'll be right back.